Hi, this is Nancy Smith from Sunburst Software, and this is a video on how to set up and create a scheduled payroll liability payment. Scheduling your payroll liabilities is really important, but however, it's an, often a step that we forget to do when we're setting up a new payroll item. The first thing we want to do is we want to come to the Employee Center. We want to click on the Payroll tab, and here you'll see these are the payroll liabilities that we have scheduled for payment, but we're really missing a lot. You want to click on the Related Payment Activities button and select Edit Payment Due Dates and Methods. Now this is going to start the um, Payroll Setup Wizard. The first window that appears allows is going to walk you through setting up your payroll liability schedule. So click Continue. The first window displays our scheduled tax payments and you want to look at anything that's got this little yellow triangle um, it'll tell you kind of what's wrong and it will allow you to edit it by selecting it and hit the edit button for now we're just going to click continue and then we're going to continue again and here's a list of all of our other company contribution items and employee deductions so what we do is we select the one that we want to set up a schedule for by clicking on it, click edit, and then you simply indicate how often you want to pay this. So if we wanted to pay our fringe benefit plan contributions monthly on the 15th for the previous month's liabilities, this is what we would do and just click finish. So now you can see that um, it has a schedule. And again, you know, you just select the payroll item, whether it's a company contribution or an employee deduction in this case. Now these are always set up to pay for the previous week, previous month, previous quarter, or previous year's liability. So keep that in mind when you're setting it up and that's all there is to it. Click finish and then finish again. And now if you have um, monies that are attached to the items that you just set up, um, they will display here in the pay scheduled liabilities windows. That's it. That's how to set up a scheduled payroll liability payment. This has been a presentation of the QuickBooks for Contractors Online University. I'm Nancy Smith with Sunburst Software Solutions. I offer free and fee-based training through ebooks, live webinars, pre-recorded webinars just like this one, one-on-one -on -one training in one, two, and four-hour blocks of time. You can reach me at 888-348-2877. Shoot me an email at n period s m y t h at sunburst s s dot com. Visit our website or our blog. Thanks for joining. Have a great day.